Tommy here? Yeah, go on in. Where's Carney? Be here in a minute. Hey, lots of news this morning, ain't there? Yeah, too much. Good morning, Connie. Good morning. That'll be all, John. I see you boys made the headlines again today. We had to do it, that guy. I know, it's all right. The papers are really outdoing themselves this time. There are a few guys in the newspaper business I'd sure like to take for a walk in the woods. Don't worry. I'm not afraid of words or the men who write them. They've fought me in their stupid papers for five years, and for five years I've taken what I wanted in this town, and I'll keep on taking. But elections are coming. Another unsolved killing at this time might reflect on the administration. Headlines haven't kept our men out of office yet, and they won't this time. I'll see to that. Have the boys go easy until after election. But how can we with this Morgan business to attend to? My plans for Jerry Morgan are arranged, and in a way that will keep us in the clear. You've heard of Gallagher? You mean the big shot that went over the wall in Atlanta? Yes. He's anxious to make a new connection. He'll be a good man for me because no one knows him out here. And if he should get caught, they'll never connect him with me. I've contacted him. He'll arrive on the coast tomorrow. From now on, we'll leave the disagreeable work to Gallagher. You say Dixon resembles that man fairly closely? Remarkably so. As soon as I heard of this plan, I took the liberty of sending for him. He's waiting in the ante room now. Ask Mr. Dixon to come in, please. And you think he's capable of handling this assignment, huh? Absolutely. I know him well in the East. He's never worked in this district, but he's been with the department for five years. Oh, hello, Ralph. Come right in. This is Ralph Dixon. Mr. Williams is our divisional chief, Ralph. Glad to know you, Dixon. How do you do, sir? You think you can impersonate this man? Oh, Gallagher, huh? Yeah, it's very funny, but as a matter of fact, I've been mistaken for him two or three times. I think with a little makeup for that scar, I could do it all right. I'll get a makeup kit and let Dixon try it. Good, sit down, Dixon. Our Chicago office picked up Gallagher. They found a message on him which indicated he was coming west to join Carney. Carney, huh? Birds of a feather. Well, if this assignment's got anything to do with putting Carney where he belongs, it's a break I've been hoping for. Something personal? Yeah. Fred Wilson was one of the best friends I ever had. Do you think Carney had a hunch that Wilson was a government man? I don't think so. Matter of fact, when he was killed, he was posing as an investigator for a local good government league. Wilson and I have been many a tough spot together. I guess this is one he couldn't get out of. How long has he been working on the case? Oh, quite some time. Now, Dixon, we believe Carney to be mixed up in an alien smuggling record. But we've no proof on that. As a matter of fact, we don't even know who Carney is. Wilson was staked out near an oriental importing house in Chinatown when he was killed. Well, my job then is to tie Carney up to this alien smuggling racket. Not necessarily. Any evidence that will convict Carney of a federal offense is good enough for the department. But you'll have to work fast, because the news of Gallagher's arrest is bound to leak out. Yeah. Here we are. All right, Dixon. Let's see what you can do. You know, if he can pass for Gallagher, that ought to lead us straight to Kearney. Yes, it should. McMillan has already worked his way into the organization, but he hasn't had a chance to accomplish anything yet. McMillan, McMillan, I don't believe I know him. Well, that's just as well. It would be safer for you both to work independently, for the time being, at least. Well, I guess that about does it. That's practically perfect. Yep. I think you'll pass all right. From what we understand, Gallagher is stuck pretty closely to the east, and it's hardly likely that anyone out here knows it very well. Well, the setup sounds all right to me. I'm willing to take a chance. You'll be taking plenty of chances. 
I better take this scar off now or I'll get pinched before I get out of the building. Well, here's the file on Gallagher. It covers everything we know about him. Fine, I'll study it tonight. And here's the telegram we found on him. Carney expects him to arrive here on the transcontinental bus at 10.30 tomorrow morning. He's to use the name of Hammond. One of Carney's men will meet him at the station. Say, maybe I better hop that bus at Hillsboro before it gets into town. I think it might be a good idea to take a plane and catch that bus farther east. However, you decide that for yourself. I'll consult my committee at one. Still flipping that lucky corner, huh? I bet that gets you into a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, but look at the fun I have getting out of it. You haven't changed a bit. Heads are go to Hillsboro, tails are fly to Reno. It's heads. If you boys will get me down to Hillsboro in the morning, I'll be here on that 10.30 bus to meet Carney's representative. Good luck. Thank you. Marion. Your name is Marion, isn't it? Yes, but how did you know that? Oh, well, that's easy. A girl getting on the bus at Wilton with brown eyes and brown hair. Your name had to be Marion. There's only one thing wrong with the picture. A girl by the name of Marion shouldn't look so gloomy. Can't I do something about it? You can, by minding your own business. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I, I made a mistake, that's all. Can't blame a fellow for trying. Here's your handkerchief with your name embroidered on it. Thank you. Can I call a cab? No, thank you. I have my car in the garage nearby. Your name happened to be Hammond? Could be to the right guy. Oh, I'm a right guy, Mr. Gallagher. I mean, Mr. Hammond. My real name's Harold Winthrop, but the boys all called me Muggsy for short. What boys? Why, Carney's boys. They sent me here to meet you. I want to be sure. Glad to know you, Muggsy. Glad to know you. I got a cab waiting. The Oriental Hotel. It's on 5th, just before you get to Chinatown. That was sure swell, the way you worked that break out of Atlanta. I never heard of a smarter piece of business. Lefty told us all about it. Lefty? Yeah, your old pal that went over the wall with you. He's one of Carney's crowd, too. You'll see him pretty soon. Yeah, that's swell. Well, I didn't know he was out here. I mean, I thought they grabbed him again. No, no, that was just talk. They never caught him. Nice place you're living in here, Muggsy. Yeah, Carney owns it. Don't cost nothing for us to bunk here. Say, that's perfect. Uh, excuse me a minute, will you? Uh, Wong will fix you up with the room. Sure, go ahead. How about a room? The name's John Hammond, in case it means anything to you. Oh, yes, Mr. Hammond. We've been expecting you. No need to register. The boy will take you right up. Boy? 412 for Mr. Hammond.
Uh, you guys don't know how to beat this game. Put another nickel in, I'll show you how to beat it. Where'd Mr. Hammond go? To his room, 412. Thanks. Hi, Lotus. Give me 412, will you? Hello? Oh, hello, Muggsy. No, never mind. I'll be down as soon as I finish unpacking. All right. You do that, Mr. Gal uh, Hammond. I'll be waiting. What room is Jerry Morgan in? 406. Sit down. You're not going anywhere. How long does Carney expect me to stay cooked up in this dump? So a dame brings you that money, you better hope that's pretty quick. Listen, Ward, if this deal isn't on the level... Is Jerry Morgan here? Yeah. Oh, Marion. Boy, am I glad to see you. Did you get it? Yes. Good. Well, thanks. Now, uh, you'd better go. I'll, I'll meet you in the car. You're sure you'll be all right? Oh, yes, of course. Now, run along and I'll, I'll be down shortly. Tell the boy business. I think I'd better ride down with you. Thanks, but you don't need to. I'll get out all right. No, you don't, sister. Connie doesn't want to slip up on this deal, and we're holding on to you till we know that everything's okay. Now make it easy on yourself and come along quiet. Got room for one more? Oh, hello. You stand here? No, I'm... You still I'm... look unhappy. Is there something wrong? I'm perfectly all right. Please don't bother me. You better stay out of this or you'll really get hurt. What's the matter? Nothing. Why? I thought I heard a dame scream. Hearing things. I pushed the wrong button and took a trip to the basement. Are you sure you're all right? You look kind of funny. Sure I'm all right. I just get kind of a headache when I ride in elevators sometimes. Oh. You know, sometimes I think these games ain't honest. Yeah. Hello. Oh, yes. He's right here. Call for you, Mr. Hammond. Right. Thanks. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Gallagher. Just wanted to be sure you checked in. We'll need you pretty quick, so stand by for a call. Okay. made me forget that number. Oh, gee, what number? The boss is working to get a hold of Connie anyway. Oh, Connie's got the whole top floor, but I've been trying to tell you is this. We got a payoff. So all you boys stay here? Oh, no, just us big shots. The rest of the gang hangs out down at Fifth and Ferguson. But look, we got a payoff. Yeah, well, that's swell. You collect it and keep it, will you? Sure. Thanks a lot. Hey, Wong, come on, we got a payoff. Three nickels. How often do I have to tell you, no pay when you tell the machine? No pay me, I. Nobody double crosses me and Mr. Gallagher. Hey, Mr. Hammond, make this guy pay.
call you later. Yes. Heads, buddy. Okay, pal. That's all I want to know. Hey, that's my lucky quarter. I'll swap you. You want something? Oh, maybe. Just looking around. How much is this piece? Five dollars. Where do you think you're going? Why, I'm looking for a guy named Joe. Is that you? No, my name is Sam. There's no Joe here. Come on, what's your game? I tell you, I'm looking for Joe. Is that him? Sam wants you. Where is he? Downstairs in the store. Oh. Oh, hello. Nice looking room you got here. But you still look a little depressed. You're still sure I... Boy, they gotta use that guy's chin for a cornerstone. Thanks for the cooperation. Please, I wanna get out of here. Okay, but when we do, I wanna ask you some questions. Where's Jerry? Never mind, I'm asking the questions. Get going. All right, stay where you are. I don't even know where Elmer is. Here, hold this. Were you taken to that place before? You ought to know. Okay, skip it. 
Was that Carney in the elevator with you? I don't know. You could help me a lot with a little cooperation. I only thought... No. I've decided we'd better part company now. I appreciate what you did for me. I only wanted to... Never mind. I don't care what your racket is. All I want you to do is stay here until I get away. And don't try to follow me. In case you change your mind, the name is Hammond. I live at the Oriental Hotel. Hey, this guy Gallagher's sure a card. Who's Gallagher? He's the guy that went over the wall in Atlanta with Lefty. You ought to meet him. Say, I guess you will at that. Oh, what's he doing out here? Uh, boss, we got a job for him. Someone on the spot? Yeah. Key, please. Yes, sir. Here you are. Where's Jerry? Hey, did you see him? Did he come down here? I was upstairs playing the cards and he got away. Out to the window. Go out in front. Look, will you? Come on, go with me. Don't move or I'll shoot. Oh, what are you selling? Look, I don't know who you are, but... I tell listen. you, I'm desperate. I'll kill you. Well, I wouldn't depend too much on that gun. It isn't loaded. You better just relax until we figure this thing out. What'd you do, clean out the mint? If you think you're about stealing that, forget it. You can't get away with it. You thought you could, didn't you? Drop that gun. Where's Jerry? Who are you? What is this, a stick-up? I don't know, is it? Is this gentleman trying to make trouble? Well, I... I don't know. I, I just happened to come in here by mistake. Don't make any more mistakes like this, either of you. Listen, lady, this guy pops into my room, grabs a gun, and starts playing cops and robbers. Maybe you can explain what it's all about, uh, miss. I still didn't get your name. Let it go. Forget it, and after this, just mind your own business. Answer it. Just a minute. I'll take that. Hello? Oh, just a minute. This is, uh, my own business. Come on, Jerry.
You'll find it very unhealthy to try to follow us. Hello? I've changed my mind. I do need your help. Well, I can't talk over the phone. Will you meet me somewhere? I'll park my car on the corner of 5th and Mason and wait for you there. Fine, I'll be right over. Hello? I appreciate your coming. Won't you get in? We can talk here. I want to talk to you, too. I think you can help me as much as I can help you. You still on the trail of Jerry? Yes. Have you... I'm afraid so. I saw a slant-eyed lady, looked like Mrs. Fu Manchu, gather him up at the point of a gun. She took him with her. What'll they do to him? I don't know. She didn't look exactly friendly, and in my opinion, I think Jerry's in a tough spot. He means a lot to you, doesn't he? Yes, of course. Everything. Well, I'm afraid I won't be much help to you alone. But I have some pals who'll be glad to help me if... If what? If you come along and tell us what it's all about. I don't don't see how I can. Well, then I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. All right. Where to? Uptown, the Myers building. I'll be here in a minute. Why, what is this? It's the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Federal Bureau of Investigation? Pals of yours? Now I suppose I'm under arrest. Well, technically, yes. A cop. I might have known you couldn't be trusted. This young lady I was telling you about. Well, what's your story? Your man made a mistake. There isn't any story. Say, what's this all about? I don't know what it's all about myself, but I do know that she's connected with Carney in some way or another. A friend of hers with a briefcase full of money is being held by them. Won't you sit down, please? Young lady, do you want to talk? No. Now, please understand this. We're interested in only one thing, getting evidence against Carney. And if you give that evidence, it's going to make things a whole lot easier for you. Don't you see that we're only trying to help you? All I can see is that you're trying to reach Carney through Jerry. Well, what if Jerry is arrested? It'll be a lot better than what Carney will do to him. You have a chance to help him, you better not wait until it's too late. What do you want to know? You handle it. Well, first of all, who's Jerry? My brother. Your brother? What connection is he with Carney? He and Carney were partners in the importing business. He didn't know that Carney was only using that as a blind for smuggling and other rackets. When Jerry did find out, he tried to quit. And then what? They threatened to kill him if he did. But Carney finally agreed to let him buy his way out. And, and then I, I don't know what's happened. Was that the money that he had with him today? Yes. Well, I can carry on from there. She brought the money at the hotel, all right. But they're holding Jerry and the money and apparently have no intention of releasing him. Well, how will that lead us to Carney? Well, I know that Carney's apartment's on the fifth floor of the Oriental Hotel. Then we can raid the place. But can we get the evidence to convict him? If they've taken Jerry to Carney's apartment and I can get in there alone, I might be able to trick Carney into some sort of a trap that'll give us all the evidence we need. At least I can look the situation over and we'll know where we stand. And then what? I'll report back here. You can act accordingly. But suppose we don't hear from you. Give me an hour and a half. And if you don't hear from me, close in on the importing place and raid Carney's apartment. All right, go to it, Ralph. I'll contact McMillan and maybe he'll help you. I'd like to use your car if I might. Oh, surely. Don't worry about Jerry. We'll get him out all right. I hope so. somebody? Uh, yeah, my name's Gallagher. Carney called me. Carney, eh? Yeah. I'll have to find out about it.
So you tried to run out on us, did you? No, I did not. Everyone in the hotel knew I had that money in my room. Why should I stick around and wait for someone to come in and hijack it? I, I was just looking for a safer hideout. Anyway, what's all the fuss about? You've got the money, now I'll be on my way. Yes, you're on your way, Morgan. Your transportation is all arranged. What do you mean, transportation? The agreement was that I hand over the money and walk out for good. You're partly right, Morgan. You're going out of the gang for good, but you're not walking. You're being shipped out in a nice black box. Inside. This is the person who has created this unwanted disturbance, illustrious daughter of the Tong. Thank you, Wong, for your efficiency. Uh, pardon my abrupt entrance, but I... I thought I told you to mind your own business. Well, you did, but you see, I couldn't resist trying to see you again. You fascinate me. Search him. Ha <laughs> ha! The joke's on you guys. This is Gallagher. Is that right? That's right. The name's Gallagher. Sorry I don't carry any credentials. But you see, if they got into the wrong hands, it might prove embarrassing. They won't be necessary. Get lefty. And I'm not going to stand around while his secretary, or whatever you are, tries to put me through a third degree. I want to see Carney. You sure about that? Yes, I'm sure about it. I'm Carney. Oh. Well. I guess the joke's on me. Lefty, do you know who this man is? Do I know him? When he and I went over to Walt Atlanta together, his name was Gallagher. How you doing, pal? <laughs> Much better. Gallagher, your job's ready. That's swell. Lead me to it. It's right here for you. Mr. Morgan is resigning from our organization permanently. You ready to go to work? Yeah, okay. All right, you're on your own. Do the job your own way. All right. I'm taking Jerry and the money goes with us. I didn't think you were on the level. Take him. Okay, McMillan, you had me worried for a while. knows you, big lug. I'm beginning to think you really are blind. Have the boys stop Jerry and Gallagher. They're trying to get out.
door. that money with you. Better be careful of that thing, buddy. It might go off accidentally. Maybe you read about a guy named Wilson they picked up in the street. It wasn't any accident. Oh, so you did that job, huh? Yeah, and I just didn't give it to you the same way I gave it to him. What kind of a split do I get if I tell you where it is? None. 
You'll either explain about the money or I'll have Wong give you what Muggsy jokingly calls an oriental manicure. Look, you and that glorified laundryman aren't going to break me. All right, Wong. Make him talk. The left hand, please. What do you want? You and everybody else in here. Put the cuffs on him. Take care of these fellows. Search the building. We've got to get over to Carney's. What's on your mind? Keep your mouth shut. All right, Lawson. Keep him covered, Ed. You better wait here, young lady. <coughs> That'll be all now. We're taking charge. Get the guns, Matt. Boys, the party's over. Line up against that wall. Line up over there. You win, Gallagher. Whose mob is this? Uncle Sam's. When you abducted Jerry and I and brought us here before, she violated a federal law. Hardy will have to answer for the murder of federal agent Wilson. You'll have some fine evidence. The testimony of a gangster and an escaped convict. Get down to business, Gallagher. What's your real racket? You're only taking up my time. We'll be taking up your time for the next 20 years. You'll never make this stick. I'm afraid we will, sister. This is an FBI arrest. FBI? What does that mean? As far as you're concerned, Muggsy, free board and definitely. Nice work, Ralph. Washington said they'd put you in charge of the West Coast if you broke this case. So it looks like you can stay out here if you want to. If I want to, wait till I consult my committee of one. Heads, I stay. It's heads, pal. All right, Lawson. Say, by the way, you've been uh, very helpful to the department. Would you be interested in the FBI? Meaning free board indefinitely? Yeah. Well, I might consult your committee of one and flip for an answer. Heads, pal.